subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. The mystery of chimpanzee deaths in Sierra Leone culminates in the discovery of a new species of bacteria and genetics of the world's fastest growing plants. These are some of the stories we will take you through on this edition of Scientific. After decades of analyzing mysterious deaths of chimpanzees at the Takaguma Sanctuary in Sierra Leone, researchers have identified a bacteria that caused intestinal damage. None of the chimpanzees that caught the disease survived, but it is not contagious. The infection does not affect humans and did not appear at other sanctuaries. It took researchers five years to identify a new species of bacteria linked to the disease that the researchers have named Epizootic Neurologic and Gastroenteric Syndrome or ENGS. The researchers proposed in their paper that the new species be named Sarsena troglodytae. At this point, the researchers have only found the bacteria is associated with the disease, but it is not the cause. The new bacterium may be more widespread than scientists thought. They believe that illnesses and deaths humans and animals attributed to Sarsena ventriculi, another member of the same genus, may actually be caused by the new bacterium or similar species. Also this week, scientists have found that at least twice in the last 150,000 years, the Arctic Ocean was covered by up to 900 meter thick shelf of ice and was filled with fresh water. In fact, detailed analysis of the composition of marine deposits revealed that even the Nordic seas did not contain sea salt in at least two glacial periods. Instead, these oceans were filled with large amounts of fresh water under a thick ice shield. About 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, in a particularly cold part of the last glacial period, large parts of Northern Europe and North America were covered by ice sheets. The European ice sheet spanned a distance of more than 5,000 kilometers from Ireland and Scotland via Scandinavia to the eastern rim of the Arctic Ocean. Large parts of what is now Canada were buried under two large ice sheets. Greenland and parts of Bering Sea coastline were glaciered too. According to the study, the floating parts of the northern ice sheets covered large parts of the Arctic Ocean in the past 150,000 years. This happened once about 150,000 to 130,000 years ago and then again 70,000 to 60,000 years ago. In both periods, fresh water accumulated under the ice, creating a completely fresh Arctic Ocean for thousands of years. It is possible that this water then released into the North Atlantic in very short periods of time. Such sudden freshwater inputs could explain rapid climate oscillations for which no satisfying explanation had been previously found. Meanwhile, scientists have discovered a very interesting behavior in marmoset monkeys. Turns out, these monkeys actually eavesdrop on conversations between other marmosets. Based on what they hear, these monkeys then make a decision about whether or not they want to interact with the group. Human beings continuously observe and evaluate interactions between third parties to decide with whom to interact. But so far, it was not known what information animals gain when they eavesdrop on vocal interactions between other members. Even if animals do understand such conversations, they do not necessarily exhibit behavioral expressions that can be easily observed by humans. Researchers from the University of Zurich created a study combining call simulations, thermography methods and behavioral preference measures. Using thermal imaging, the researchers were able to non-invasively measure temperature changes in the faces of the monkeys to quantify subtle emotional responses. For their study, the researchers used playbacks of vocal exchanges between marmosets as well as calls of individual animals who were not involved in any interaction. The results showed that the response to interactions was significantly different than the response to individual calls. This means marmoset monkeys are able to distinguish between a dialogue and a monologue. 
After the monkeys had heard the different interactions, researchers found that the marmosets preferred to approach the simulations that had a cooperative interaction. Meanwhile, scientists have recorded the soundscape of the ocean, which shows that marine life is being increasingly disturbed by noise pollution. According to the team from the University of Exeter, the damage caused by the noise is as harmful as overfishing, pollution and the climate crisis. Before going into more details, let us take a few seconds to hear what the oceans actually sound like. The researchers explain that marine animals can only see across tens of meters at most and can smell across hundreds of meters, but they can hear across entire ocean basins. Behavior of marine animals hence depends on the soundscape they encounter and too much noise is creating an acoustic form. The researchers analyzed more than 500 studies that assess the effects of noise on sea life. About 90% of the studies found significant harm to marine animals such as whales, seals and dolphins and 80% found impact on fish and invertebrates. One of the most obvious impacts of human-made noise include deafness, mass strandings and deaths of marine mammals due to the military sonar equipment. But the noise also impacts marine life's ability to communicate with mates or protect themselves from prey. Also this week, researchers studied the genetics of the world's fastest growing plant to decode how they can make plants of the future climate resilient. Duckweed, also known as Wolfia, is the world's fastest growing plant. It has no roots and is made up of a single stem leaf structure. Each duckweed plant is around the size of a pinhead and the plant doubles in size on a daily basis. It reproduces when the daughter plant buds off from the mother. Scientists wanted to understand what makes the plants grow so quickly as the answer may hold the key to food security in future. They found that Wolfia only has half the number of genes that are regulated by the light-dark cycles compared to other plants. This means unlike other plants, its growth is not regulated by the availability of light. In fact, the plant has shed most genes that are unnecessary for its survival and instead evolved in a way that most of its genes are focused around growing. This is Mohan Basu for The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.